Hello team, welcome back to another Line War cast. This is your map, a bunch of islands today, and this is the first 3v3 that we are casting. It's in the beta of Line War right now. It's kind of pre-beta, a little bit alpha, slowly becoming more public, getting ironed out. Very excited. Our six players today are on Alpha Team, Deedland, aka and Keaton901, and on Bravo Team, Mr. Murray68. Someone said that my nickname sucks, and Super Crumpets. This is a whole new picking phase. You'll notice it looks a lot different than the 1v1s if if you've watched any of those. Here we go. We can take off the fog of war. There's no point in having this for team games. We got Crumpets on Bravo Team over here. Let's make sure the Bravo team's all together. So Keaton is on Alpha Team. Oh, so this is very close. So Nickname and, and Keaton are on the, the same landmass. They're on two different teams. So these two are going to immediately see each other and have to get into a fight. Crumpets and Mr. Murray share the same island here. And then Deedland and AKA, who are also on Alpha Team, are to the left. So it's going to be a question of Nickname and Pink is, is really kind of isolated from... The rest of their team super crumpets and to a lesser degree murray are going to be able to help out keaton here or a nickname part of me i'm getting all confused based on the who's in the game yeah so it's actually the other way around sorry keaton is isolated from the rest of alpha team alpha team is on the left keaton's over here keaton's a really tough spot because super crumpets can actually hit keaton's base with these airplanes and, I mean, Nickname already knows that this is here, so it's going to be tough for Keaton to hold on here. Murray's going for three docks, four docks. In fact, it's a big Navy map. That makes a lot of sense. Three docks for AKA and all factories for Deedlin on this left-hand side. Crump is going for immediate power plants and some, some airports with a town. Gas-wise... Murray has some gas up here, so in team games you can actually share gas if you if you connect your refinery to an ally's refinery or an ally's depot. It has to be a lesser value than the refinery, so you can also connect it to a power plant if you want, and then you can share the gas with your teammate. You have to decide how much you would like to share. Same thing goes with money. If you border your ally, you can transfer money to them. The more territory you have, I think the quicker you, and, and more money you can actually transfer. We'll see if that comes into play in this game. Keaton's going for three f barracks, two factories, and an airport. I really want to see what Keaton's making out of this. So it's an yeah, it's, it's artillery. It's kind of tough because Keaton's got to go for artillery here in order to fend off Nickname's attack. But then also there's... There's got to be Sam's or something for all these planes, but Keaton won't know that Crumpets has started right here. So immediately Alpha Team is going to have to figure out some sort of strategy to reinforce or, or open up a second front for Keaton, and I think this is what is about to start happening, is that AK is going to start ferrying units across to try to open up this second front with Nickname to at least divert a bunch of Nicknames production to the left instead of pushing on Keaton as hard. As, as what's about to happen. The three docks for Murray going for just full Navy. There's one transport boat. Murray and Crumpets are going to be able to put some pressure on Alpha Team potentially if they decide to go for it. Really going to have to see what both teams want. I mean, there's cases to be made for Bravo Team to just kind of try to clean up Keaton here or to start attacking the left island Either one's going to work. It's very interesting in team games to see the coordination between teams and the creativity that can happen. In a team game setting, you get way more combined arms situations in general. I mean, on an island map, it's kind of interesting. This is our first island map team game that we've seen. Keaton's getting aggressive with commandos on this industry. But Keaton's really just buying time. I mean, this is going to be a lot of strikers from Crumpets if Crumpets decides to keep going with striker production. Alpha Team's nearly got the entire leftmost island at this point. Deedlin likely is going to start expanding to the north. I think this island's probably going to be up for grabs between Murray and, and Deedlin over there. Best strat, or the, the best feature of the beta is the. The, the closer zoom in that we can get on units. 
This is the true dream. As a caster. So this is going to start popping off and Keaton's going to be in a lot of trouble. Keaton was able to take out the industry. That's a big win. Three helicopters for yellow here, which are going to be very helpful to deal with. Nicknames army because there's no Sams as of yet. Crumpets though with all these strikers, it's just going to be, it's going to be tough in a second for Keaton to hold on. Murray's expanding to the rightmost islands. Potentially the leftmost island as soon as there's another transport boat. And Deedlin's also going to reinforce. So both people on Bravo or Alpha Team on the left side of the map are going to try to open up this second front, which is going to put pressure on Nickname, especially as this push happens. I wonder, Keaton might not have gas. I mean, Keaton would have the starting, the starting amount of gas. But that's not really that much to, to use three helicopters, so it's going to be very difficult for Keaton to get a bunch of value from these helicopters. Here come the first six strikers for Crumpets. And they're attacking this, I mean, one of the planes I think is, no, I guess they're all attacking this. This one's from the other airport, I think. So that's why it's not targeting the factory. But these five strikers are definitely going to be able to take out the, the, air, the factory here. Three helicopters for Keaton are off the airstrip and they're or off the airport going to try to get another factory. This is great defense from Nickname on the left side of the island to stop the landing force. It's going to have to be a coordination of boats from Alpha Team in order to land successfully. Murray's making their way to the top left island. Already on that little two territory island in the center right of the map. Three and with a fourth helicopter on the way, this is enough helicopters to kill a factory. This last one should be able to take it out. Still no Sams for nickname, so the helicopters will do that, but we can see that Keaton's gas is running very low. And there's not really going to be any relief in that for a while because Alpha Team is so far away. In fact, I'm going to have to click off of Keaton's view because I think the gas noise is going to just keep going. At this point, Crumpets' second run on the Strikers, which is now a, a huge mass of them, there's not even one Sam out quite yet, is going straight for the, the airport. The good thing for Keaton is that the units built are helicopters, so at this point the four helicopters are off of the airport, they won't be destroyed with the tarmac, because Crumpets is definitely going to take this out. We can check the gas situation, Crumpets has this depot i wonder if murray's gonna connect that refinery to the to the depot anytime soon it's not like murray really can because murray has a ton of boats that also require gas so we're gonna see just how much gas comes into play for all or for both teams here we can see what's going on on the left hand side still absolutely nothing it's going to be very difficult to land here ak is also out of gas only on one refinery all the teams are going to have gas problems, really. Very clever place to land for Alpha Team. Keaton's got two commandos that kind of secured the LZ and made sure it was safe, and now we finally have an artillery piece and two more infantry on this landmass for, for Deedland. One Sam taken on this many infantry definitely are going to work out for the Sam. And here come more strikers. For Crumpets, and Crumpets is going to be able to take out these two Sams. Once these Strikers see these Sams, they're going to kill them relatively quick. If Keaton's lucky, one single Striker is going to go down. There is a upcoming at some point, it's it's in the works, a change to the Sam, so it would actually attack the, the most injured Striker there, so I think both of those Sams would actually be able to kill one Striker at potentially in the future no idea when that's going to happen and it's i mean clearly the focus is on team games again this is the beta here comes the navy for alpha team and cutting off i mean if if alpha team's navy can get between these strikers maybe keaton can hold on if alpha team can also land here and, and really open up that second front with nickname Got to check the left-hand side of the map. Murray's got this top left island pretty much locked down and is starting to cap all the ocean ter territory to the left. 
So Murray's got some boats in this choke point, which is good for Bravo team, because it's going to take a while for Bravo team to be able to break through if they want to take this fight. Still remnants of Alpha team on this island. I guess AK is now just landing in full, so this is this is going to go down. And it'll be interesting to see if Alpha Team decides to build production here as well. Keaton's going for the risky play, which is building a power plant, which I, I do like. I mean, Keaton still has four helicopters, and these helicopters could do a ton of damage. A little skirmish for of the infantry between Keaton and Nickname on the on the right hand side there. And the airstrip has been discovered by all these boats, and this number of boats, they are going to be able to take out this airstrip. It's a lot of carriers. Four is, is definitely the number, plus a bunch of missile boats. And if Crumpets is maybe just transferring these planes, I guess there is landing room, so it's a very good play to get those strikers off of the airstrip. Because if the planes were still on the airstrip when the airstrip dies, then all the planes die with it. Nickname's doing a pretty good job defending here. It'll just depend on with whether AKA can get enough enough units over to establish like a full beachhead. So we can see the team sharing gasoline or or energy, pardon me, Deedlin and AKA connecting the refineries. They still can't share it with Keaton, of course, because Keaton's or power plant is not connected to the refineries. This is a large navy for AKA though which is unfortunately out of gas. Three artillery pieces for nickname potentially going to be able to take out this many commandos with the help of their artillery, but I'm not... I don't think so. That's a lot of commandos in it. At a certain point, just the number of units really tips the, f the fight in Red's favor there. This is probably the right play for the strikers to come in here to try to attack the navy because it's going to be a decent amount of eco that Krumpus would lose here if this town goes down. I think that Red's navy can just take the strikers and the boats here potentially with two more missile boats on their way and still a naval advantage. So that town will go down. Good landing from AKA. It's actually working and uh, Nickname's artillery is kind of falling. Krumpus has another gas set up. Murray's got quite the navy here, so this is gonna, at the very least, stop this this drop from Deedlin on the mainland. We can see AKA did in fact snipe that that town with the port on it. Two helicopters hovering over their artillery. Helicopters do tons of DPS when they just hover over the artillery. It makes them so good if there's no SAMs around. They are out of gas. It's still just one power plant for Keaton. But I think this is good for, for Alpha Team. Over time, AK has established this and is, is opening up the second front. It's a good attempt from Alpha Team to get across here, but Murray's coming with a like a perfect block. And with some micro, we'll be able to clean up all of these boats. Did I just see that right? That a transport boat just killed a real naval boat? Unbelievable. Keaton doesn't have a lot of production here. So three barracks and one factory versus three barracks and two factories for Nickname. I guess that being said, Nickname doesn't have a lot of production either. Crumpets has a city on the way. Another gas in the top right. This is in fact Murray's gas in the top right. And Murray's out of gas. I mean, it's very important. There's a lot of boats. Murray knows that. That's why there's more gas going down in the top right. Nickname's going to be able to kill these helicopters, unfortunately, for Keaton, because the helicopters can't move. The one power plant isn't enough to keep this going. It's very important that Alpha, that Alpha Team gets over here, or else Nick, or, or else Keaton is going to be knocked out of the game pretty quickly, because there's still all of these strikers. You, you can understand why AK dr brings back the Navy, because this is a lot of... of Navy for Murray, so if, if Murray's Navy were to just start trying to take out all these docks of Alpha Team, that would really suck for Alpha Team, clearly. So 
it's unfortunate that AK couldn't have missile boats here to stop this from happening, but it's kind of a tough spot either way. Still getting good fights here. Nickname has a lot of artillery. Yeah, there's not a lot of artillery and there's not a lot of infantry for Keaton, so it's it's really just a matter of Alpha Team can reinforce quick enough at this point. Murray's going around the back, probably will be able to find this town, might even be able to hit one of these, or both of these refineries with a cruiser, not really sure about the range on that. And this is looking pretty rough for Keaton. This is really the only thing that Keaton's got going is, is AK's blank on the left for nickname, which might just be able to buy enough time. This is going to turn into a big naval fight. Murray's got the top left island. There's no, no eco on it yet. The economic development for Deedlin is not the city yet. There's subs on the way on the far left, which is, uh, I mean, could be a very valuable play. Picking off a few boats as long as they don't have detection. Three Sams against this many strikers. The strikers are definitely going to win, unfortunately, for Alpha Team. And I think this is looking very good for Bravo in general. Murray's going to be able to take out that town as long as those boats have gas, which they shouldn't run out of it at this point, I think. We can see the gas right here. I don't think in the replay we can't see if there's sharing amongst teammates, but we know that Alpha Team is sharing. I assume that Bravo Team is as well. Yes. Murray's got this gas hooked up to Crumpet's refinery. So Crumpet still has a ton of planes, starting to build transport planes, which surely have the range to land on this landmass to the left, I think. City on the way for Deedlin, that's a good call. I think as this game goes deeper, the economies are really important. I would wonder how much money AKA has. And whether there could be a proxy base here. I'm not going to change the views. But this is a good... Good drop. And now AKA's navy is is defending that. So Deedlin should be able to reinforce it with quite a bit. This much infantry against this many artillery pieces for pink. It's a tough call, but it's buying a lot of time. And it's allowing a a Keaton to kind of just shove on on nickname here keaton is definitely on borrowed time in a lot of ways i mean these strikers are going to slowly kill all these buildings and i believe in in a team game when your buildings are all dead you're you're out of the game i mean that's the same way as a 1v1 but you just don't see it as often because this is going to dry up there's no more reinforcements or red Yes, so there, one cruiser definitely can hit this. In fact, one of the destroyers is also able to hit this, unfortunately, for Alpha Team. And that would mean that this other refinery is definitely in play. Four factories from Deedland. That's going to be a lot of units that can get across here. And that would be one of the best things for Alpha Team at this point, is if this front opened up with a bunch of SAMs. Mary's got one factory, but there's no other factories on this mainland. And here comes the big naval fight. We can zoom out for a little bit. Nickname stabilized on the left-hand side. We'll definitely be able to fend off this. Keaton is... This is over. As Murray sends units across. I don't think you can actually transport your, your allies' units. I'm not really sure. I don't think so, though. Here comes the big navy fight. And Murray's got enough. This is just a number of boats. There's, what, six? Well, now five cruisers. Four, I think another one just got hit. For Red, I think Murray could technically keep going, but this is the smart thing to do. Back up these boats. Crumpets is going to snipe one of the gases. We know that Alpha Team's a little bit starved on gas. It's good, good coordination from Bravo Team here. And now Murray starts going attacking here. Yeah, and this navy's out of 
out of gas. So his navy can't run away, and whenever we see the black plumes of smoke off of a unit, it means they take more damage for five seconds. So this is, I mean, this is going to be a wipe. Murray's navy is going to take out that entire fleet. There goes Keaton. And surely after this, this is what ends the game. Because at this point, Murray just kills all the docks. And very slowly, Bravo team makes more money. And there goes Crumpets building industry to make more money. Very interesting team game on an island map. And a tough spawn for Keaton. But well played. Both teams. 3 airports for Crumpets. I actually expected there to be more planes. But I guess it makes sense. There's there's such little gas that Maybe building three airports and just not building airstrips is actually the play. Regardless, folks, I hope you enjoyed the beta. The team game, 3v3s, it's almost here. Check out the Line War Discord if you'd like to learn more. If you'd like to try to get beta access, I'm not sure. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy your night, evening, day, whatever it is. We'll see you around. Peace.